what's up? It's AJ Bake Plays. Today's video is going to be just a bit different than what you're used to. I actually got a request to do a walkthrough on my stream setup to show off all of my special effects, all my features, all my bells and whistles. I wanted to take the time today to make that walkthrough video for you all so you can kind of see behind the scenes of how my stream is set up. Now, the first thing that I want to specify here though is that this is not going to be a tutorial. I have learned everything Thing that I've implemented from my stream setup, all from other YouTube tutorials. I'm going to be linking as many of those video tutorials as possible that I have used in the past. A lot of the tutorials are going to come from the same creator. His name is Nutty. He is incredible. I have learned so much about OBS and OBS plugins from the different tutorials that he's posted. If you're interested in adding some super cool special effects to your stream, I can promise you that Nutty is going to be your go-to. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> Before we started today's video, I wanted to take a quick second to talk about our sponsor, Iggy's Pop Shop. Iggy's Pop Shop is a locally owned game business with a focus on trading cards, manga, Funko Pops, and much more. Iggy's Pop Shop ships products all across the US, and if you use my referral code in the description, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. The next time you're on the hunt for anything gaming, anime, or pop culture, don't forget to shop local and shop Iggy's. All right, let's get into it. To start this video off, I wanted to go ahead and run through all of my scenes just so you all can get an idea of what exactly we're working with. As far as the scenes go, I don't have anything super out of the ordinary. I have pretty much the basics, I would say, for any basic stream setup. Um, real quick, this is my starting soon screen, which is actually a 10 minute video. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping by the stream today. My name is AJ Bake Place, and the stream will be starting soon. Yeah, it's right there. This is what I call my just chatting scene or my intermission scene. This is what I use when I'm not playing a game and I just want to chit chat with the audience. This is the scene that I use to play the game. This is the scene I use to do stream raiders. Anything that involves looking at another screen capture, this is where I do it. You might have noticed that I changed positions. I am actually on a triple monitor setup. This is my third monitor and my camera is facing directly in front of me with my green screen behind. I also have a be right back scene. And to end my stream, this is my ending scene. This is a end credits video that I created and I chit chat here with the audience to say thank you one last time before we go on our raid. So overall, I don't have anything too out of the ordinary here. Aside from just the basic scenes, I've added a ton of different special effects and a lot of different features, fun things for the audience to do on each one of my OBS scenes. So I'm going to take some time to go through those per scene and I'm going to kind of demo them so you all can see behind the scenes how they all work. With the starting soon screen, I don't really have that many special effects loaded into that. That's more of just a video that I put together alongside a chat overlay that I've put together within stream elements. So I'm going to be skipping over that and going straight to our just chatting scene. The best piece of stream equipment that I have, Elgato, I'm waiting for the sponsorship. The 15 key stream deck has been a lifesaver. I would highly, highly recommend using a stream deck of some type if you are wanting to add a lot of these effects into OBS. I can do a few different things with our stream deck. I can do a very sad zoom. So if we just had a really sad moment happen, you know, somebody decided to nay nay me, whatever the situation might be, I can do the sad zoom with the sad music. If somebody said something and wanted to test me, I can come out and throw some hands. If somebody said something a little bit sussy, then we can have an emergency meeting. If there's a moment in the stream that I just really need to take a moment, we can take a commercial break. AJ Big Plays will be right back after these messages. And one of the audience favorites, we can get Nay Nay. 
you're watching this, you just got nae nae I've also got some sound effects loaded into the scene. These are actually the same sound effects that I use for the whole stream, no matter what I'm on. So we've got the... We got the... Aww. A classic. In case anyone wants to laugh at me. So let me just run through really quick how I did each of those. So the first thing I want to talk about are the two cutaways. These are easy peasy lemon squeezy. There is not a lot of setup to these. Essentially, I just uploaded the video files from the videos that I had recorded and edited separately. And I set a shortcut on my stream deck to transfer to the scene that had those things. I've got my scenes loaded just as another separate scene with an OBS. Next thing I want to talk about is the emergency meeting. Once again, there is not much to this one. I added the emergency meeting green screen GIF as a separate scene and set it to full screen so it would take up the entire section. Once I had that loaded in, I added it as a nested scene to my intermission. A nested scene is essentially a scene that you've created that you've inserted within another scene. It does get a little bit confusing sometimes, but if you keep yourself organized, keep everything named accurately, you'll get it set up in no time. So the emergency meeting is actually a scene in itself. I'm gonna switch to that real quick. And when I toggle this on my stream deck, I'm essentially hitting one button to turn on and then one button to turn it off. On my stream deck, I've essentially got a plugin added. It's from a toolbar called OBS Tools Bar Raider and it's called Source Visibility. I've set the source visibility to toggle off and on with that key on my stream deck. The next button I've got is my zoom. So if somebody says something a little bit, hmm, I can zoom in. As you can see, I'm probably turning my head. It's probably pretty visible when I go back and forth. I'm essentially cheating and using the same scene from the game scene to replicate on the intermission. The zoom cam is once again, just toggling from one scene to another. I have this angle set up as a separate scene. So I'm just essentially swapping back and forth using this button on my stream deck. The next thing I wanna talk about is the AJ Bake Punch. The AJ Bake Punch works the same way as the emergency meeting button. It's a transparent video file that I have created and uploaded as a separate scene. And I'm essentially just using this visibility filter on my stream deck to toggle it off and on. The next effect I'm going to cover is the sad zoom in. To create the effect for the sad zoom, I essentially created the ending scene that I wanted along with the music and set up a custom transition to make it appear as though it's slowly zooming in. So really, it's nothing different with the scenes, but more so it's a custom made transition. I'm gonna walk you through and tell you how I did it. So this is the scene that you'll actually end up seeing whenever it transitions to the sad zoom. So this scene right here, where you can hear all the sad music, this is how I have it set up. It's really just a mirrored version of my intermission scene that I've zoomed in really close on my face. How I created the zoom effect was I set up a custom transition. This is using an OBS plugin called Move. If you swap over to my transitions here, we can open up the properties and I can give you a little preview of how these are set up. I also wanted to cover the sound effects here really quickly, but I am not going to cover these later because it's essentially the same setup, just copied over onto a different menu. So to implement the sound effects, all I did was uploaded the sound effects as an mp3 file through the Elgato Stream Deck software. The feature to play a piece of media is already built in with the Stream Deck software, so you don't need anything additional for that. Okay, I'm gonna show off my transition here as we jump into the banner. 
So here is my setup on my main banner. As you can see by my source list, we have quite a lot down here. So I'm gonna run through all the different things that we can do on our game scene. This is the scene that I spend the most time on. So this is the one that I've curated a ton of my effects for. Behind me would typically be my Elgato capture since I usually play console games on stream. For purposes of this video, I have my TV scene on, but some of my effects are specifically built around the game being there. So I'm going to leave it on Elgato for some of these. So on this scene, we've got zoom level one, zoom level two. If I need to take a break, we have a second commercial. In addition to the two levels of cam zoom, we also have a super close zoom where I move with it. If there is a very important message in the chat that I really wanna make sure everybody sees, we have the ability to zoom in on this chat. Oh, what's that? Wow, I'd say that is a pretty important message. We have the ability to go black and white. So I'm gonna run through how I do each of these effects. The zoom one, and the zoom two are essentially just mirror sources of each other. The next one that I'm going to talk about is the, what I call the drama zoom. This is when something really big happens and I have to make sure it's really emphasized. How I've pulled this off, I have set my webcam here as a nested source, a nested scene rather. So I'll go ahead and jump over to that this is actually the scene that my webcam is being directly broadcasted to. It's just being mirrored on the game scene. So how I've got this set up is I've actually adjusted an effect filter to make myself zoom in and out. This is a special filter that I custom set up. I have a hotkey set up on my stream deck to toggle this filter off and on. So what this means is that with the press of a button, I can toggle this filter visibility and create the effect that I'm actually zooming in. What's cool about this though, being a nested source is that I can still apply other filters even while the effect filter is in play. So for example, if I want to create a really cool effect and say, whoa, that was some big brain moves. It's easy to do. I can apply the same, the same filters and transitions to the scene as long as it's nested. The chat zoom is set up the exact same way. I have the chat actually set in a nested scene and I've got it nested within my banner. So I can toggle that effect filter off and on to show that zoom in and out. The black and white feature, turning me black and white. This is an OBS plugin that I downloaded that has added some different opacity changes. It's called OBS Opacity Master. So beyond what I've already showed you, we have a few more effects loaded into this game scene. Let's say something just happened that was pretty career ending for me. I can, I can decide, you know, <laughs> see you later. If there's a very sad moment that happens on stream, um, I can reflect on life and consider why I'm even doing this. I will start first with the to be continued. So this actually doesn't require the use of a stream deck at all. What I've actually set up here is I've set my uh, two buttons on my mouse to control the visibility filter on my different webcams. What this means is that if I simply click my middle track wheel on my mouse, I disappear. This is really useful because I tend to be in the way of some things on screen sometimes. So it's nice to be able to quickly toggle me off and on so you can see if there's something happening behind me. With the to be continued scene, I'm going to swap over to this because I want you to see how this is played out. With the to be continued scene, I've set up a custom scene where I've both changed the opacity to black and white, I've set a custom transition as well as a freeze frame effect. So I know that's that's a lot of information. So I'm just gonna run through it so you can see how it works. <music> Pa 
how I've set this up with an OBS is I basically set it as a new scene with a source mirror of the webcam. That means that no matter what I'm doing on this banner scene, as long as that webcam is still connected to that mirror scene, I can toggle off and on as much as I want. I've set the custom filter on this one to a certain setting in order to create the freeze frame effect. This is once again done with the Move OBS plugin that you can download online. Just as I set my webcam to toggle in and out with my center mouse button, I've also set a hotkey to toggle that source visibility for the to be continued scene with my side mouse button. So what that means is that essentially at the same time that I'm toggling on the JoJo meme, I have to make sure I'm toggling off my webcam or else it will appear still behind. I've set this up once again by using a nested scene. I set up my meme fade scene here. And I've set up a hotkey on my stream deck to toggle that source visibility off and on. I've set up a custom transition on the webcam on the nested scene for the meme fade in order to give it that movement effect. Once again, it's all done through the OBS Move plugin. Essentially, that's all there is to it when it comes to my stream setup. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much to everyone that requested this video. I had such a fun time making this. There are so many new things that I want to add to the stream. I'm constantly thinking of new ideas, constantly brainstorming different ways to implement the move transition with OBS. So be on the lookout for more features in the future. And who knows, maybe one of these days I can make a part two to show off all the new things on the stream. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you are new to the channel, what is up? My name is AJ Big Plays. I'm a Nintendo-based variety content creator. I stream three times a week on Twitch. I upload to YouTube occasionally, and I post weekly on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. If you'd like to check me out across all the socials, I do have a link tree linked for you in the description below. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.